But right now, I want to talk about the latest news and rumors regarding the Yankees, and one of them that they're coming close to or have already done a deal with backup infielder Brendan Ryan. Yeah, a deal's done pending a physical. Uh, he's a insurance policy. We all have to be realistic about where Derek Jeter is now. He hardly played at all last year. He's 39, turns 40 in June, and the Yankees need insurance policies. And at the least, they know Brendan Ryan is kind of state-of-the-art on defense. They could bring him in. To me, the interesting question about Brendan Ryan moving forward, especially if the Yankees don't do something with a guy like Steven Drew who can be a full-time shortstop, move between shortstop and third if they're trying to fix the left side of the infield is to save Derek Jeter's legs and to quite frankly put a better defender on the field. Does Joe Girardi bring in Brendan Ryan and say the seventh and eighth inning when the Yankees are winning by a run or two to spare Jeter's legs and to put a better defender with real range on the field? That will be an interesting question as we move forward. Well, that remains to be seen, but I think first you need to answer the question with Derek Jeter. Is he healthy coming into this season? What is his range? Obviously not what it used to be going to be 40 this season, but you know, does he still feel comfortable with him in there at shortstop? And what exactly are you going to get from him this season? But of course, this signing, when it does become official pending that physical, is not a huge free agent signing, as you said but an insurance policy for the Yankees and something they really need. But in Brendan Ryan, you're not going to get any offense. So there is some concern there. Are they going to go out and continue to get some bats to help this team? Because you have guys like Teixeira coming back, possibly Cano, uh, but you do still have a lot of holes as far as that offense is concerned, one through nine in the order. You know, I'm going to go back to what Joel said. Joel, if I'm Joe Girardi, I am doing that. I think that Ryan has shown you enough defensively that on the days where Jeter does play shortstop, I'm bringing Ryan in for those last couple of innings. When you watch this guy, Guy play last year and you got to see him play for significant stretches of time this guy is unbelievable defensively I agree with Meredith there is nothing offensively he's a 237 career hitter and he couldn't even do that last year but I think it's up to the Yankee front office to put enough offense around Brendan Ryan that you can have a guy at shortstop who is all about the glove we'll see they've got a lot of holes they still have to fill all right we'll talk more about the infield coming up but I want to add another guy into the mix because as we get into the rumor mill there's the word that Johnny Peralta is connected to the Yankees now. Now, Joel, it seems like it's going to take multiple years to get him. We keep hearing that about a lot of players, but would Peralta be a fit with the Yankees? Absolutely, but we should always say going into this that interested is an interesting word. The Yankees are interested in a bunch of people. If they're doing their job, they've probably reached out to every free agent just so they know what does the player want. You know, you might find out, I'm a lifelong Yankee fan. I'm willing to take a discount to come to you. You have to make the phone call to know. But clearly, left side of the infield is an issue for the Yankees moving forward. Because think of it this way. If in the best case scenario, somehow Alex Rodriguez gets off or is just a 50-game suspension, what's your hope for him? How many games can he play? 100 at third base? How many games can Derek Jeter play at shortstop? 100? That leaves 120 games at those two positions. Players like Johnny Peralta and Steven Drew, the belief is that they can play shortstop and they can play third base. In Johnny Peralta's case, he played some left field during the playoffs. So the versatility matters. And then in 2015, I would think there's a fair chance that maybe Derek Jeter has retired, that Alex Rodriguez, the Yankees, have either found a way to get rid of the contract or has re released him. So that's a big picture thing. But I think the other thing to just keep in mind real quickly this is a fluid situation. The Yankees are going to probably add three bats this off 